night is just rubbish and I hate it. Well, I'm taking the time to do a little vlog for a change. Um, I've just been doing kind of live streams and things like that. And I thought it was about time that I did um, another vlog, another writing vlog. I might do this in parts just to make it more interesting instead of me sitting here talking. So I'm in the middle of doing a live stream. Um, finally got Google to actually share screen so I can put my timers up. Which, you know, I think you've figured out that I really enjoy making. So I'm doing that and... Um, the other day I did, no I'll talk about that later, so I'm just going to go on, I'm also going to be doing another live stream later on with OK Weird, co-hosting it, I thought I should start making an effort to, <clears throat> you know, mix with my fellow writers instead of just sticking with my own, my own little part of authorship. So I'm going to get on and get some more writing done. That's my um, live stream finished. So I'm going to finish. That's my live stream finished. I'm going to go and get something to eat and I'm going to watch a movie. Um, I'm trying to watch some classic... Oh my God. Japanese movies so I'm going to do that and then I will be back on for another live stream this evening because I am co-hosting with OK Weird on her channel that's the first time I've done it so I'm quite looking forward to that I'll update you again soon okay and I'm on with Weirdo and Stephanie she doesn't doesn't mind being called that by the way Hi there, this is Wednesday. I'm about to start my live stream. I've got about 10 minutes left till it goes on. So I've got myself organised. I've got all my bits and pieces down. I just need to set up my forest app. What I've been doing with my forest app, what I've been doing with my forest app is I have been, um, past couple of times I've been doing it as themes so the first time it was Halloween obviously and then the next one I did it was a sort of moon and stars theme so I'm going to I think I'll just continue that little thing just because it's fun to do not for any particular reason sorry I've got some noodles to eat before I start my live stream um, so yeah, I was going to tell you about, I had a 10k day last Thursday and it went, it went okay, I mean I did it. And like I've said before, when I do um, 10k days, I find it not necessarily easy because it is hard to do but I find it easier than a lot of people because I don't have children or family here to, you know, to worry about or to disturb me or, you know, have to spend time with. Um, I'm usually here on my own. Um, for that 10k do you thought I wasn't, my son was here, but they spent most of the time in their room, so... Um, so yeah, as you can see, I'm back up. He's way back to. They're staying with their his fiance's mother. Even though I have more room here, I don't know what it is, but um, whatever. And um, yes, yeah, so, so I'm back up here today. Um, he went back last night. They didn't have much of their stuff here anyway, so it was no biggie. Um, I think just because his fiance likes to be close to our mother and it's closer to their work so they don't have as far to walk even though it's a very small town and everything's about a 20 minute walk away 
Not that I'm complaining, but I'm complaining. <laughs> um, so yeah, my 10k day went, but as I always find with 10k days, by the end of it, you're just going, oh, everything I write is just rubbish and I hate it. So, yeah. It does me. I do take the day off after because I need the rest. <laughs> uh, yeah, so that's really just been what's going on. Not an awful lot. And let's say I've got Mm, seven minutes now to go before I have to start my live stream. I mean, I don't have to. I just, uh, I've gone back into them and uh, I do enjoy them. And it puts another little, because this is quite early for a lot of people um, in the US and that, but for everybody in Europe and the UK, it's lunchtime or around about lunchtime, early afternoon. So it's a good time to add in to the mix sort of thing, a variety. That's what I'm trying to say. So anyway, I am actually going to show you something else after I've done the live stream. So I will see you soon. So what I was wanting to do here is show you what, I've, because I've been interested, well, what I wanted to show you was this idea which um, a lot of people do, this is for mainly screenwriting and uh, what they do is they just take index cards, sharpie, bit of washi tape or whatever kind of tape, blue tack, whatever you want and they write down key points on the index cards and then they stick them to a wall. So okay, this is the top at the top of my stairs so it's a bit echoey and also my tripod is balanced very precariously on top of the the small banister here so as you can see tip your wee bit Don't fall. As you can see, all you do is take the washi tape so it doesn't damage the wallpaper because what you can do is that I've left some blank here because obviously I've not done <laughs> you know, you can swap the scenes around and things like that to whatever you think should be the right way for your screenplay. And this is just like little bullet points of what happens. So this is just something <laughs> I've not written anything specific. Just done whatever. Just to show you what I'm meaning. And you can may obviously make this a bit pretty, a bit neater. I'm just doing it quickly for on here. And this is also something you could do for your novel as well. I mean, if I think I've seen Sarah Cannon doing it. She had a big wall that she did it with. But one Skillshare, when I was looking at some of the screenwriting videos on their the lessons, this was a popular thing that um, screenwriters did. And also in the book I've got, which is, I think it's something like writing a movie in 28 days, she actually suggests putting a, a line of, you know, a string up and then having certain markers at certain main points for like act one and act two that sort of thing and then rearranging your cards or arranging your cards in such a way that they fall into these certain points and at certain when you've got like 20 percent 40 percent 60 percent all that sort of thing of your manuscript done so i found it quite interesting and i will be doing this i'm going to leave these up here just now and i will get back to sorting them later So that is me for the day, I think. Um, it's nearly dinner time and then I'm back to work tonight, so I need to go back to my bed after my dinner to get enough sleep to last until 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. Um, so like I just showed you there, that was a very quick showing of uh, what some screenwriters, well, what a lot of screenwriters do. I'm showing the star now. And some novelists as well. It's actually something I might do for my 
novels as well because I do use the index cards like I said earlier and I use the coloured ones as well but if I've got a big wall then I could, I mean it would be handier if it was in my office here I could maybe move that poster I don't know, I'll see um, and then you know sticking it up somewhere what the, one of them suggested if you put it on a wall that's out of the way but still somewhere where you see every day and then it keeps it kind of fresh in your mind so that um, you're maybe subconsciously thinking away on it and then when you see it you can rearrange things. So I thought it was quite a good idea, a very visual way of doing something and I'm all for doing things visually because I'm a very visual person. So anyway, that's it for this writing vlog. Um, I On Sunday, I will be doing another live stream and also I will be back on OK Weird's website, website YouTube channel to co-host with, along with her and Stephanie. Again, we did it on Sunday past it. We're going to all do it again this Sunday. Come in. So... Uh, Please go to her channel and check there and subscribe and all have you, what have you. And uh, I will speak to you soon. Please like, comment and subscribe. Okay.